Michel Bilarabi, Director of Sales and Marketing. Welcome tonight with us in our Thank hour. You. And just as we saw right now, it was a clip for an animation team in Hergada. But before we talk and before we talk about the animation and all such stuff, let's first talk about uh, talking about the tourism industry. We would like first to know more about your education. Did you start working in tourism because you are a tourism graduate or something else? Actually, I graduated from archaeology, which is part of the tourism. Uh, once I start uh, my career to work in tourism, I built my career starting from tourism uh, by tourism field and after I moved to the hotels field. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that from the very beginning you were interested to work in tourism and not in archaeology. Yes. Why? Um, there is a lot of opportunities in the tourism. Tourism field and the hotels field. But archaeology, you're talking about one, th one thing. And for archaeology, you have to be working by yourself. But for tourism and hotels, you're working through chain, international frame, big frame, with international or look. So now you, at least you talked about several job opportunities because usually many of the youth when they talk to us, the first thing that they talk about is hotels, working as a receptionist, working in a hotel, and this is tourism for him. Well actually that is why, as I said in the beginning, we're trying to show many different careers, many different fields that they can join and work in. Yeah. So the idea here, let's talk about job opportunities. This time we are in Hergada. This time we talked, for example, about animation, and we are used to have uh, Italian animation team and uh, such um, different nationalities, but this time we, we found that we have some of the Arab and Egyptian animation team, and they are working and they, ha they have a very good contact with the guest. So I want first to explain the word of animation for our audience. Animation is the ani to animate your guests in your hotel. It's different with the nationality. The major one is the Italian, and you need to animate themselves because they have to be relaxed with their stay. Uh, actually, we don't have a school for the animation in Egypt, and this is. But some of the Arab countries, they started to have this. Some. Uh, yeah, like I think like Tunisia, for example. And Morocco also, but in Egypt, I think it, this is going to be in a later stage. We have to have a school for the animation to learn people how to animate the guests, and the guests different between nationalities, Russian, Italian, German, Swiss, Arab. We have to educate the people how to animate the different nationalities. Especially, as we all know, for example, uh, the Germans, they like to go to sleep early. The yes. Italians like to, like Egyptians or like the Arab, they like to spend the whole night dancing and uh, going out. Yes. But here we, we have to talk about, uh, when we talk about the animators themselves, is it only limited to means of entertainment or more than this? No, I think it's more than this. It's, um, you should have a good relation with the, with the guests in, in your hotel. During the breakfast, lunch and dinner, most of the animators be coming beside the guests, talking to them, tell them how do you stay in the hotel, do you feel good, something complaining about it. So they have be making animate and part of the work is the guest relation. I remember in that hotel while we were there, I found a young Italian lady, she was crying. And when we asked her why you are crying, she said because she is leaving and she got used to one of the animators and yeah. she found that she really loves her and she feels that uh, she's a friend now and she doesn't want to leave her. She's used to find that lady every day. Yes. She's with her playing and, uh, and uh, having several activities. So I think this is really very important. Yes, very important because when you're staying in the hotel, you're seeing the animator everywhere during the breakfast time, the lunch time, between them in the beach and the swimming pool. And that's why people they used to know them for a week or for two weeks at uh, a long stay uh, and be getting good relation with them. Some people be taking some emails and they are uh, having good uh, communication with the animators in the future and be coming back to the hotel as a repeater guest just because the animator. Usually when we talk about the repeater guest, he's coming back for the service and for the place, which is yes. very, very important. Sometimes you go for this place, even if someone else, he doesn't like it, but still because of the service, because of the people, because of many, many things over there, you will come back to this place. I think this is what we are looking for, the repetition of our uh, guests. Yes. 
Well, right now we are going to move on to our interview, and actually this is an interview that was held with one of the, he's not the animator, he's the chief of the animation team, he's Tunisian, and we'll talk to him, we will be back after the interview. And remember, you can call us on our telephone number 579-4828 if you want to apply to work in tourism, if you want to tell us anything about your job in tourism, or if you are working in tourism already, you are most welcome to call us on 579-4828. Welcome back once again, still we are in our hour and here we have to stop. Well, of course, just as Karim said right now, he's talking about the services, about uh, how to make a good relation with your guests. But we have something here very important. Usually, when we go for a job, usually we look at uh, the beautiful side of, or the entertainment side. Yeah. But let me say, the animation, the animator, is it an easy job? Working all these hours from early morning, 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock till after midnight. So how do you see the job? I see the job it's very complicated because you have to be a person with a talent of animating people. You cannot be a boring person. You have to know you how to control yourself and control sure. your own inner feelings. Yes, there is a point I have to stop and there is one I have to complete. I have to be the first one to be wake up in the hotel because I will be during the breakfast time talking to people that we have some activities in the swimming pool, others in the, in the beach. And, and continuous. continuous. You have to, uh, to have aerobics, you have the gymnasium, everything. you have uh, you everything is taking for place. For the adults and for the kids. From 11 to 12, from 12 to 1, from 1 to 2. Yes, especially for the adults and the kids, the same. And I should to be the last one to sleep in the hotel because I will be the last one in a desk tech because in the desk there are some people sitting... And you're not in the desk attack for just entertainment? No, they have to bring people, because some people they are uh, shy to go and dance by themselves, so they have to pick them up and uh, come on, let's dance and just doing some activities during the, the desk attack times. Well, this will take us to the skills of the job or how to know more about your own skills, but right after the break. We are in our hour and you are talking right now about um, the skills, about all this and I was going to ask about the skills. How to know that I am qualified to work in the tourism industry? Anyone can work in the tourism industry? I don't think so. You have to have the talent for to be working at a, for a tourism field. What That's I want to say, how to develop your skills to know how to sell yourself. To develop yourself, you should to get the good experience by uh, giving your important things to your job. You have to think, you have to be a creative person. Especially, I'm doing the sales and marketing for my hotel, I have to, have to be creative with this part. Others, in food and beverage and housekeeping and what is administration, I have to be a creative. For us, to be a creative, to sell my product. How to make it a good product and to sell it to the people for what they need. This is a talent for the person that, especially for the sales. To schedule yourself, you have to read. You have to go to the net to see what are the, the new things. How to can attract this market. How we can attract this nationality. There is many things that you have to, I mean, uh, if you want to develop yourself, you can do it. What about learning more languages, for example? I think this is going to be very important. Usually, or actually, uh, we met with some of the people over there, and they are not um, uh, educated uh, university uh, graduates, actually, and they, they can speak several languages. Yeah. And they said they started learning language on their own. So here we stop and ask, why if I am a graduate from university or something like this, is it difficult for me and not difficult for someone who did not continue his education? To learn the language, yeah. different language? Le learning language, learning computer, learning several skills to be able to work and compete because the market is not that easy. Every day you have something new, you have to add to yourself, to add you to your personality. Most of the people now, they're working in the hotels field they come with only one or two language, but they get experience when they're talking to people. 
uh, now there is some instituting that they learn more languages, and which is a good opportunity for the people to develop themselves to have more than one language. But in the time being, most of the people in the hotels, they're learning from experience. They know the language from experience. It is a matter of the practice of the language itself. Yes. How to pron pronounce it, how to talk to people, how to be applied to the people with to the language. To express yourself and to understand, what, to understand their needs yes. in their own language. Well, actually, one more thing maybe talking about the youth when they go and apply for a job. Usually we say that, no, I'm not going to go and apply for a job because I'm not going to find a job. And therefore, I'm not going to search for a job. So we say that the job will not come and knock the door to tell you, please come and work here. So let's talk about this point, how to go to move on from one place to the other. Especially we talked before about the importance of the job skills interviews. We say that why not to leave the CV here, 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 and here. Just as I said in the beginning, we got several CVs, we're trying to help, but why not to try several places? At least one place will call you one day. Yeah. This is, uh, should be by searching uh, everywhere. Searching in the net, searching in the news, in the magazine, I mean, not in the, news, in the newspaper, in the magazine, uh, uh, because there is opportunities, there, there are lots of opportunities because there, every day there is a resort opening. And don't be upset if uh, they said no in the beginning because maybe they will need you one day. Sure, I have to wait. doesn't matter then. To develop yourself between uh, chain and chain or from property to property, you have to wait. You have to sell yourself. You have to know how they can write your CV. You have to know that they should to know that you have more than language. You have the. You should to know your experience. There's a lot of things that I I have to. It's tools in my hand that I can be moving from property to property. Only uh, also for the communication. During the daytime or the night time, we're going out with the friends and we're talking about opportunities for a job. Maybe someone he need a job, so we give him. Okay, you can go to this email and you send your CV. Maybe they want you. So it should be a communication between people and each other, especially in this field. Well, actually, we will be back once again to Hergada. And we held several interviews with some of the youth working over there. Let's move together to watch the interviews, and we'll be back. Welcome back once again. Still, we are at our hour, and um, just as we saw, we were talking about the animators, about the youth, but here we want to talk about also when you apply to a job, usually, or we got some of the youth talking to us through the internet, and some of them, they feel shy in the beginning to do some different or some uh, of the job descriptions of his own job. He feels shy to, to do it. He, you got my point? Yes. If he's shy, he didn't deserve the job. He cannot be like this. You have to be he aggressive. He doesn't want to serve. The, the you guest. should to be aggressive. You should to put, to put a target in front of you and you have to achieve it. To work, I mean, uh, uh, to find a job, it's not that easy, but it's not that hard. You can find it through the net, as we said, with the communication. And you have to, be, to uh, trust yourself that you can do it. This is what we needed in our country. We, yes, we can do it. Well, I remember one of my conversations with one of the pioneering uh, owners of um, in the tourism industry, and usually, or actually, he, he told me something very important when I talked to him about the uh, working in this field, that never to be shy to help your guest because he is at your home. You have yes. to welcome him the same way you are going to deal with him at your home. Yeah. So for himself, he found someone that he's standing and he needs someone to carry uh, the bag. He went for him and he carried his bag and he's the owner to, to help him to do this. So if this man is going to do this, so what about the youth who's, who just started the job? It is a cooperation, it's teamwork. Yeah, and experience also. Uh, like, uh, like when one of the room clerk, one of the reception, uh, if you see the GM went to bring the bags from or to, to, the to bring a cup of uh, cup of tea to the guests water something like it's that. a matter of hospitality that you have mm -hmm. like if you have one of your home as you just said that for sure that you go and go to the kitchen and bring them whatever he want to do it's not matter that it uh, that I'm a servant or something like this I'm serving my guest this is the name of the hospitality 
that we have it in our country. And we are very famous. Egyptians they are very good people for the, for the hospitality and with the smile. And here is the smile. Yeah. And we have a break. Our and um, to make a conclusion for what we were talking right now, how do you see now the um, the field of um, tourism for offering job opportunities for the youth, and how can they know that they can apply to and work in this field? I think not from that past, but uh, from your own experience at least. For my experience. Uh, you mean for the opportunities for the sales. Sales is a talent. How we can sell, how we can meet people, how we can talk to the decision maker, not to anyone. Um, at the beginning, you have to have the talent, and after you have to get the experience, and you have to learn from your boss. You just not close your or to be obedient. Yes. You have to be at least in the beginning, okay because you are now you are grasping, you are you are taking from him his own experience, and then start to take your own. And sales is matter of information. You have to be informed with everything what's going behind, uh, around you, in the market, in the politics, whatever. You have when you talk to people, you have to talk whatever in any subject. Not you have only to be aware sales. of all what is going on yes. around. Most of our sales meeting, we're talking about life. Uh, we're talking about uh, politics, talking about something else, but we're going on the main subject. Because you are part, you have to be a part of the society or part of the sure. group you are sitting with. Well, uh, Mr. Khal Al Arabi, at the end, we thank you very much for being with You're us welcome. today in our hour. And with this, we come to the end of our hour, and actually, we will be back next week, same time. We're going to continue talking about job opportunities in the tourism industry, and we're going to continue what we were started in Hirkada. So until we meet again next week, same time, thank you for joining us, and bye.